welcome to another How to Code Well video tutorial. My name is Peter Fisher, and today we're going to take a look at running select queries from the MySQL console. So we're in the console right now, and I just want to do a quick describe of the customer table. So this is going to return the structure of the customer table. And in today's tutorial, I will demonstrate three different examples. So the first example of the select query will be to uh, demonstrate how to return all of the records in the customer table. The second example will be a demonstration of how to um, only return certain fields from this table. And lastly, the third example will be a demonstration of how to reduce the results set using a WHERE clause in the SELECT query. OK, so let's dive right in. So the first example, then, is returning all of the, these records. <clears throat> so we do that by running SELECT, and then it's uh, on a Mac, it's SHIFT-8. So that is, um, my, in MySQL language, that's uh, ALL. So SELECT ALL from, and then we supply the name of the table that we want to run the select from. So in this case, it's the customer table. So select all from customer. I'm going to run that on another line. OK, so as you can see, we've returned seven rows. And this is the format. We've got the all the genders, all the titles, the is actives, the emails, the first and the last names and the IDs and so forth. Now it's wrapped around like this because um, where you can see the, the dates are on a, a second row. And that's because the terminal window here is a bit small. But that's the first example. So I'm just going to clear the screen and then describe the customer table again. So the second example then is to return certain fields from uh, the, this customer table. For instance, you, you might not want to return the ID or the gender or what, what have you. You might just want to be saying, right, I only want to find the first name and last names from this table. So we do that by running select and instead of passing the asterisk, we pass a comma separated list of fields that we wish to return. So in this case it's first underscore name and last underscore name. Again from the customer table. Whoops. Customer. If I can spell today that would be great customer table. Okay, so I'm going to run that on another line and we can see that only the first and last names have been returned. And we can see that all of them have been returned because seven rows have been returned, which is what we got last time. OK, so lastly, I'm going to just describe the table again. We want to uh, reduce the result set uh, based on a, uh, on a where condition. So for instance, um, the is active uh, field here it's got a size of, of 1 and its default is set to 0, so it's an integer. So let's pull out all of the ones that, all the records that have the is active uh, value set to, to 0. So we can do that by uh, running this again, but I'll also supply the is active field from the customer where is underscore active is equal to 0. So we're going to return the first name and the last name, as well as the is active field from the customer table, where the is active value, the value of the is active field, is set to, to zero. So I'm going to run that on another another line. Okay. So we can see that four rows have been returned, uh, and these have the first names and last names all have the is active. All these customers have the is active field set to zero. Now we've only got four rows here, so that must mean that there are some other rows that have a different value of a zero. And we can find that out by running this again, but instead of where it's equal to zero, we're going to put in an exclamation mark because that means that this statement must return false. So where it's anything but zero. Okay. So let's run that. Okay, so we can re we can see that three rows this time have been returned and there is active flag is set to one. So I can run that again, but this time I can change that and say where it's at. it's set to one. And I'm going to just run that on a, another line and we can see that this, the same result set has been returned. 
Okay, so that's how uh, that's running three basic examples of the select query. We can go into more depth uh, later down the line. There's all sorts of things that we can do, such as likes and nots and all, all those kind of conditions, as well as group by and order by. But for now, that's just a basic overview of how to run select in MySQL console. Thank you for watching. Please click the like button if you found it useful and make sure to subscribe to get the next tutorial. If you have any comments, questions or queries, then please leave them in the comments section below. Alternatively, you can tweet them to my Twitter handle, which is PFWD. Thanks again and I'll see you soon.